Why would? Why did all these songs just have a weird Rod Stewart not man singing <laughs> yeah. over? That's a good question. Sometimes. And they're always a really like naive, confused man who sounds like he just woke up for the first time in years. Why? Did, why did they get Rip Van Winkle to record every single '90s theme song? What's going on here? <laughs> Things are changing. I was born in 1882. Brian, it is a Baran slam. Mm -mm. And we are going back to that lovely, cozy, perhaps too cozy house that I love so much. Right up on the hill, it's the full house. The There's full? not room in there for anybody else other than all these fucking uncles. There are so many goddamn uncles in this house. I think it's time for us to figure out which which uncle deserves to be in the full house. Here's Dave Coulier, apparently, oh, according to the internet. Looking good, DC. Um, it's, it's good. Here's the thing is that uh, Dave um, hasn't been, I guess, doing as much since Full House, so there's not a lot. Is that even him? Let me share with you a, a, an experience that I had growing up. Okay. Uh, have you seen the film Speed? Uh, yes, I have. Speed stars, co-stars one actor, Jeff Daniels. Oh, yes, Jeff Daniels. And as a young man, I kind of thought that he was maybe the same dude as as Dave Coulier. No, uh, absolutely 100%. And I think this picture is the best <laughs> one. <laughs> So we're just gonna take this baby and put it right there into the brand slam. Why does he look like he's covered in glycerin? <laughs> this has the um, the vibe of Uncle Jesse, which is to say he plays music. He yes, was the he, cool he loved uncle. Elvis. He was a very young man who loved Elvis he for was, some reason. Yeah, he was definitely written correctly for his age. I think what we can just do a little surgery maybe with young John Stamos's lips. Get that young mouth. mouth. He's got good hair. Oh, he's, and he's got a good furrowed brow too, which I think is gonna help us sort of make a good wrestler face out of him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, and with with a mouth like that, he he it was built for kissing, is what I would say. Now he's opened his mouth in this one, which makes it a little difficult because obviously the um, uh, the noses don't line up. Rather than just move it over a little bit, mm -hmm. get that lined up. Okay, see that's looking pretty okay right there. Hey, is what I'm saying. He is a cool dude. He is a very cool dude. It um, like with this jaw and situation, he almost looks a little Elvisy. He does. Can you can you make him? Can you give him a little Elvis snarl for me, real quick? Maybe animate that for me. <laughs> <laughs> now, it, it's not bad over here necessarily. Um, I I think I've I've whooped it a bit too much, Patrick. I don't know how I can get it back to where I was. So, um, and no, that, <laughs> that seems right. I guess I guess that's I think that's what we had before, Pat. So we'll just we'll just run with it, Uncle right? Uncle Jesse looks like he's fixing to kill some prophesized wizard babies. <laughs> We want to make it look right, yep. so we, we've we, so we got to heal. We got to heal. We got to heal everything to be the correct space. Now, Pat, I have included the eyes in this just because I'm a bit worried, that, that was right. the, that was Pat. That was how it, the brush worked. I couldn't change the brush size, but I needed to heal as much I mean, as that's possible. That's how the brush works. We got to do it exactly. No, <laughs> <laughs> Jesse, no. Uh oh, Jesse. Okay, Pat, we need to do a little bit Imagine more surgery. This just shambling. Up from the basement <laughs> or, or down the stairs. Where did he live? Upstairs or downstairs? Who knows? <laughs> you never know where he's gonna come from, but he's coming for you in your house full of children <laughs> to teach them songs, the forgotten songs. I'm just gonna get him, um, kind of like uh, Incredibles mask. Mm -hmm. Okay, right of mm -hmm. of of Uncle Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> The bat. <laughs> I kind of like what's happened here. If I just, if I just, <laughs> crop, <right? laughs> it's not bad, is the thing. <laughs> just tell me when. Just tell me when to stop, Pat. Kay. Oh, Pat! Oh, Pat! Pat! No, we're a little bit off, Pat. This looks like Jim Carrey's Grinch. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now Got him. Got him. I'm getting I'm getting the tear ducts in there because yep. I want We, we wanna take away this beast's ability to cry <laughs> because if we don't he will always be weeping. Brian, I was I'm not hungry anymore. <laughs> I'm just I don't like I don't know if I'll ever be hungry again. After this this meat sandwich of Stamos. Alright now Pat, we don't have as many options here with Dave Coulier, obviously, 
we we don't even have one picture of him. We have a picture of Jeff Daniels, who looks a bit like Dave Coulier. Yeah, which is good, and I think it's gonna work just fine, uh, especially this we, yeah. shiny version of Jeff Daniels because it's the rare version. It's the yeah, we've got the holographic Jeff Daniels here. Uh, <laughs> the problem with these these actual Dave Coulier picks is mm -hmm. that just too small, don't have the, the size that we need. Yeah, but maybe we can pull through some of the qualities that they carry. That face is so is so jolly, mm -hmm. and I think I can maybe make. Um, this face more jolly. Yep. Um, mm. hmm. Can you give us a bit more of a, an uwu then? Can we get a bit more of sort of a, an upturn in the middle of the mouth? Uh, oh yeah. Oh, that's a good idea, Pat. I didn't even think about sort that. Sort of a, a colon three emoji. Now, is that what you wanted, Pat? Yep. Is that is that how you wanted the, the mouth to be? Yep. Hmm. Mm. Mm. It looks like the thing. <laughs> it's not very good now, is it, Pat? Hmm. Now he's already kind of doing the face right there. He is. I don't want to get rid of it, so I'm just gonna keep. I'm just gonna put it down to like maybe like yeah, thirty three percent yep. opacity. Okay, and then and then I'll and then I'll take what I've already done. I mean, so that way, way the essence of it is still there. He just looks so much like him. I don't know how else to how to fix it. You know, it's it's like it's already there. Everything that I could have possibly needed yeah. is already set up to perform uh, Dave Coulier, and like it's. I don't see why there's mm -hmm. gonna be any issue um, with just using what we already have um, to just, I think that's fine, is so what I'm saying. Uh, I, I, I'm looking at the clock here, it's ticking down, we do need to get moving on, oh, so. Okay. Right, there we go. Now we're good. It's Jesse. It's Jesse. Let's get his face a pop in. Yeah. I think that's fine. I, I mean, I'm gonna have to move the face a bit to match. Yeah, move, but move the face a bit around. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, that's a good. That's some good eyes right there. Yeah, I, it was so easy to create this face. It it just it came around about perfectly. Just poured out of us, like, yeah, like wine. Uh, did we have did we have his head shape right? Hair tall. Hair we, tall. Hair tall because head small. Exactly. Is that good? I think that's good. I think that gives you more space for the hair to grow. Yeah. Which is what it's all about. Great. We have Jeff Daniels yeah. playing Dave Coulier, yes. right? Yeah. I think what happened is that they made a perfect John Stamos skin suit, mm -hmm. and then they were going to hire a different actor to play yeah. him. But they they landed John Stamos. They landed him, and so they're like, "But we already have the skin suit, so okay. we might as well." So make make the it has to match yes. that, and yeah. then those eyes are peeking through. We 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 have we have a hundred percent accidentally backed ourselves in to Modern Family, Dad. <laughs> mercy. Oh, mercy! It looks a bit too much like a Lazy Town character. <laughs> Like maybe yeah. it would just be the leather vest. I mean, we're talking like he's just, he's just focused on his hair. Yeah. Like anything else is a distraction exactly. for our Uncle Jesse. Uncle Jesse just wants the vest. It is Austin's, but we, we can we can fix that. M mercy? You'd yeah. Say I mercy, think, right? You'd say mercy. Uh, and for pantaloons, we think in just jeans. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Actually, I think one step further than than blue jeans is chaps. Carbon fiber chaps. <laughs> That's the thought experiment. <laughs> you really need to protect those legs. Does it, it seems it would? How would it? How would this help him? <laughs> Here's the thing, the tender pieces mm -hmm. still very available, mm -hmm. but he's he's probably gonna be throwing a lot of knees. And I do have something that I want to try. If yeah. you'll bear with me mm -hmm. for just a second. For sure. <laughs> 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 That's pretty dang good. But but uh, this is a family pr program. If you put that line right down the center of the, the back yeah. um, to like censor, it's not bad. It's, it's definitely it's definitely more family appropriate now because the censor bar is there. So, so that way you know that there's nothing going on. For the front, maybe what we can do is just for people who are up close, yeah. just write something like, just kidding. Okay, great idea. Um, yeah, right yeah, up on yeah. that front. So that way people know. Yeah, that's it. You're right. Can we put it in chiller font? <laughs> oh, that's that's pretty good. That's that gives you a, a, a there's, there's a hint of cheek there, which is good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> just change that hand so he's pointing right at us. <laughs> he's like, I know you're looking. <laughs> Mercy. <laughs> I do like this one because this is him realizing precisely what he's doing <laughs> and why maybe it's not great. <laughs> but maybe he's okay with it. <laughs> he likes it. There we go. Yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> Oh, one more time. Uh, Uncle Jesse, why are you smiling? Uncle Jesse? <laughs> Uncle Jesse? <laughs> so, Uncle Joey, comedian, he had a puppet. He, he, had a, he was not a successful comedian. Not a successful one, because again, all he said was cut it out. And that was his whole thing. It was his whole act. He yeah. invested heavily in the cut it out bit. Mm -hmm. uh, didn't really take off the way he wanted it to. Yeah. Now, Pat, I don't, I don't know if it's just movie magic or what mm -hmm. here. But this surprisingly does look a little bit like Uncle Joey. Like it's not it's not the worst version of Uncle Joey. No, I'm getting I'm getting big Joey energy here. Yeah. And so for his look, this dipshit was rocking a mullet long after yeah. it was appropriate to do so, the, right? We have had so every single episode I think we've discussed how someone has had a mullet. Like it's just too too many of them. I think we should just let him have it this time. I think it's time to to the the most powerful one we can find here. I know this is not Jeff Daniels, but that yes, is that is, that it, is it Jeff is. Daniels' dumb and dumber hair. You are absolutely correct. It is also Ronnie James Dio hair that he just had normally, <laughs> uh, not as a joke. There we go. Perfect. I think that actually. looks you, pretty you dang it, yeah. good. Uh, and let's get the color just right. He was he was a blonde. He was man. a blondie. Yeah. He was a comedian. He was a comedian. So he probably wanted them to pop a little bit more yeah. so you could really see his facial reactions. That's that's true. So he wanted know. people to know what was going on So he's there. probably doing a bit of dye work there. Mm -hmm. He probably brought a lot of attention to those eyes. <laughs> Maybe with... I'm not sure if... I think that makes the eyes look bigger from a distance. You see what I'm seeing there? Yeah, I do. You know what I think is really comedy? Hmm. Um, him wearing the exact same outfit that his brother is wearing. As a kind of a psych out, like, oh, yeah, okay. what? We wore the same thing to the wrestling match? Yeah, what right. a joke, right? Yeah, sounds good. Now that's, there we go. Now that's some comedy right there. Doesn't include the butt or the mercy. Um, maybe maybe his type of comedy is a bit more... Yeah, it's um, a bit more abstract. Yeah, so... Uh, looks good to me. It does um, look really solid to me. It's a man who's <laughs> thinking very hard about what his next joke is going to be. I think that's what we need to do, is we have to show Joey at his first improv class. Thinking of something funny to say. What's the funniest oh, thing to say? What's the funniest say? thing I can Ooh, say right now? Oh, no. Oh, can I say this? Oh, oh but maybe. Oh, hmm. oh no, that's... Oh, oh no, it's rubbish. Oh. oh. <laughs> okay, yes. Perhaps. <laughs> we have to show him. Um, I can make a joke. Good. Good. That's perfect. Cool. Well, we have our wrestlers. Uh, let's let's make them wrestle. Let's do it. Anthony Carboni. Hello. We made something for you, and we just need your read on it. Are, are you a fan of uh, sitcom television? I am. Okay, who, who are you looking at? Who am I? Jesse. Uncle Jesse? <laughs> <laughs> you, you nailed it. That's right away, exactly I, him. That's the reaction we were hoping for. We mm -hmm. really wanted to get that across right away. Anthony Carboni, thank you for joining us here on Brand Slam. Uh, can you get a clear view of his face there, and can you give us an appraisal? Of oh, my stars. <laughs> oh, my stars and garters. This is not TGIF appropriate. <laughs> well, it is. It, that's a sensor bar, Anthony. I see. You were going yeah. for the spirit of Uncle Jesse, not necessarily yes. the letter of Uncle Jesse. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, partially that is helped by his glowing hair. He might be an actual spirit right here. Yeah. yeah. Well, we made some... Oh, no, nice that's too perfect. <laughs> no, that's actually just as good as the other one is bad. So here's an interesting tidbit. Do you think we used any photo references of uh, of Dave Coulier for I this? I believe you did not. Can you make any guesses of what we might have substituted in to get something that is more Dave Coulier than Dave Coulier? And you did use a photo. Mm -hmm. We did yes. use a photo of another actor. It almost, his mouth almost looks Jim Carrey-ish. Mm, well, oh. close. That's very adjacent to who, who oh, we did use. Oh, is this, a, is this a Jeff Daniels? Is this a Dumb and you, Dumber? This you is a Jeff Newsroom. It. Ooh! <laughs> 
he, he's a better Joey than Joey. Yeah. Oh, look oh, at that. Oh, cool. I didn't know that that was going to be a part yeah. of Jesse's work right So here. the miscalculation we made with old Jesse was uh, we... The one. The one know, miscalculation. <laughs> the, the, the singular the one. one. <laughs> if you had to name is, the single miscalculation you made. We thought he would be prettier if we could use more photos of his face. Mm -hmm. uh, and we ended up just sort of using as many of them as possible, which I think might have... Mm -hmm. Uh, backfired him. It was, it was sort of a thing where the, the sum of the parts was right. uh, less. You wanted mm -hmm. to stare into uh, the forever Stamos. Oh, yes. You wanted we to did. look we deep did. into the eyes of eternity. So we thought that a, a thing that Joey would think would be funny is if he came out dressed exactly like Jesse. Uh huh. Uh, and that's not just because we were running out of time no. and we really needed to get a costume done. Yeah. We thought there's a good in universe justification there. Uh, are you a fan of Full House? I mean, who isn't, really? Even if you're not a yeah. fan of Full House, I feel like it's one of those things that's burned into our minds. There should only be one uncle yeah. in any any story. The line. government won't allow more than two brothers. Exactly. That's right? a, that's and not in one family. Not with the populations and resources the way they are. Exactly. That's. I mean, it was even an issue when they had to use two sisters as one actor um, <laughs> with with the young Michelle. So in the eighty in the eighties during the during the Great Rationing, that was the only way to have two daughters <laughs> is to pretend exactly. they were one. Now, what is your in universe explanation for just so few crotches and and butt flaps? <laughs> Uh, on a family we, series. <laughs> so we, we did think of this. Uh, and if you zoom in nice and close on the crotch of uh, Uncle Jesse. Which I uh, have many times. Mm -hmm. You will see a little note that says, gotcha. <laughs> uh, this is a surprise. It's, it is, in, this, in this instance, Jesse is the trickster. Do we believe here uh, as scholars of Full House was Jesse boning in the full house? Yes, of course. He in, was boning in the house specifically. He was boning yeah. Re uh, Rebecca, right? Oh, he was boning Danny, yeah. Danny Tanner's co-host, who eventually, who eventually moved into the attic with him, because oh. because on an <laughs> infinite to... timeline, everybody lives in that fucking house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so oh my goodness! Out of our first test here, it looks like Jesse's. Uh, Jesse's the winner, I mean, but I think I want to stress test him a little bit harder. Mm -hmm. How does that line up with your expectations, Anthony? I feel like it's going to be Jesse, Jesse all the way, every yeah. time. Yeah. I mean, Joey, Joey's just a lovable goofball, right? Although, yeah. he does have a bit of a, um, in the later seasons, there was like a weird, unnerving thing going on with him and that woodchuck puppet. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, maybe That's it was true. becoming the darker part of him. I didn't like that. Now I'm scrolling through our uh, possible uh, managers here for him to replicate his his woodchuck puppet. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I, we do have King from the Tekken series, but he's more of a cat. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that's that pretty might close. Not work, maybe. Um, I think the one that's jumping out at me the most is maybe the best fit. The closest thing we have to a woodchuck on here is Pikachu. Yes, yes. So we'll we'll, we'll let him come out there. The with old Pikachu. that'll be the his. old Tokyo woodchuck himself. They call him. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get him out there. God, really? that Pikachu's face is it's so much more intense than either of these <laughs> two jabronis. Well, Pikachu has a history of battle, whereas I feel like these two these two mm -hmm. yahoos are just doing it for the first time. Yeah. Oh God, Pikachu! In the sort of leering in the background <laughs> when they just let him slowly be seen. <laughs> just, <laughs> just a Pika Pikachu. Oh my god, Pikachu's too muscular. This is just like That's some real. It Follows shit going on right now. <laughs> <laughs> it is still so strange to me that those two liked each other at all. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but in and out of universe. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't, I, I doubt they, do you think they liked each other? You think they were chill? Do you think they were chill together? I think everyone well, you think was pretty friends chill. friends in real life? I don't think they're friends in real life, but I think they were pretty chill. I don't like this very hairy Pikachu on the on the back. He's it's not like he's helping at all. He's just enjoying. He's just sort of slithering around yeah. back and forth. I feel like Pikachu wow. like whoever loses then must have the Pikachu as their manager until the next yeah. time. <laughs> like yeah, you must Pikachu's rid yourself sort of, of the Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> Oh, he's wow. the curse, and that's why Joey's fighting so hard right now. Yeah, he just wants to be rid of this this burden. Once again, Woodchuck Puppet on the outside, not doing much to offer mm -hmm. support in any way. He he just sort of looks like he's trying to avoid eye contact with anybody Ooh. in the ring right now. Mm -hmm. See, I feel like Dave Coulier has yeah. the uh, has the stamina of a working class Canadian man, and mm -hmm. yes. whereas John Stamos is one of those guys where if he has muscles, they're like actor muscles. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
Like, yeah, he's he's going to be burning fuel at an alarming rate. Yeah, yes. he's tired. You can see it in his weird, doughy, Morrissey eyes that you gave him. <laughs> God, this one just keeps going, huh? Yeah, this one, I, I think the the problem was in the first round, Joey didn't have a will to live. Yes. Um, This you, one, he still has somewhat of a will just so he can be rid of Pikachu. Yeah. He just wants to imagine his life without his terrible Pikachu woodchuck puppet. These two had, like, 19 extremely highly skilled professional jobs where they worked together. Mm. Like, mm-hmm. at one point, Jesse was in, like, a world-touring rock band. The fact that they can just walk in and just mimic wrestlers, you know? It's, uh, not, not even a surprise, Not even a surprise. Really. They're sort of like, you know the Marvel character, the Taskmaster? Yes. Mm. They're both sort of ta- the Taskmasters of TGIF. Yes. They come and in, they look at you, they size you up, they can do whatever you can do. <laughs> and uh, Jesse... Proves that he's up to the task of taking Joey down two times a row. I think that's pretty defin- definitive. I think that proves what most of us knew about the relationship between these two characters. D- but did we learn anything new? While Joey tried his best to be cool like Jesse, he just couldn't pull it off. You know, Jesse, the, the fact that he put a sensor bar, the pe- fact that he put a gotcha right on the pants, mm-hmm. it, it shows that he was comfortable with what he was wearing. It wasn't a joke. Now, can you make, a, can you make a little would... Bob Saget uh, to come in and deliver the exact monologue that you're delivering right now? It's a shame we couldn't get Bob Saget in here. He just couldn't stop yelling profanities. <laughs> um, and so we've, we've just taken the two uncles... Mm-hmm. Uh, and found that it, it really is, the, the house belongs to Jesse here. I will say, though, sure, he won in the ring. Sure, he's the tougher com- competitor. Sure, he's the cooler guy. But, like, when you need to study for a math test, when you need someone to help you move, when you need someone to pick you up when you're down, who do you call? You call Joey. Jesse. Well, you call Jesse. Wow. <laughs> he really has uh, just, just destroyed just- Joey's life. Yeah, no, Joey's done. He's gone forever. We had to bring Jeff Daniels in even to, to make him show up on this show. So uh, I think it's it's just proof right well, here. Well, apologies to Dave Coulier's next of kin. Mm-hmm. Uh, Anthony, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us here on Brand Slam. Uh, where can people find more of your stuff? Uh, you can find me on YouTube and Instagram and Twitter, at A Carboni. And then every Wednesday, you can find me on the official Star Wars YouTube channel, which is uh, youtube.com slash Star Wars, for the Star Wars show, which is an update on all the Star Wars things that are happening. And there, I don't know if you've noticed, there's considerably more Star Wars now than there was a few years ago. Is it a real stroke of luck that you guys were able to lock down that YouTube account, youtube.com slash Star Wars? Well, you know, like- George Lucas's lawyers have been calling me daily. And uh, <laughs> I refuse to pick up. I refuse to answer. I'm just I'm just squatting and making my money. I'm basically just mm-hmm. freebooting. If you want to co- if you want to see just freebooted like Korean VCD versions of the prequels. <laughs> That's what I'm putting up at youtube.com slash Star Wars. I got them at the mall, and uh, you're going to love them. Anthony, thank you so much for joining us here on Brand Slam, and uh, we'll see you around. Thanks.